In January back, when Corona was a beer, and getting close to a stranger wasn't something to fear, we hear of a virus that's causing some alarm. But it's all the way in China; it could do us no harm. In February, we watch as the virus picks up pace in a city called Wuhan. I've never even heard of that place. It's now in Italy, much closer. It feels more real. What if it did come over here? How would we feel? Cases in the UK. It's now here at home, but we will be fine as long as the infected don't roam. We are told not to worry and given simple advice: wash your hands while singing "Happy Birthday" twice. As the death toll rises like a horror film plot, we must go into lockdown. How can we not? Boris makes a speech to tell us that shutdown begins. It seems so strange trying to get our head around things. Schools, hairdressers, restaurants, and pubs—they must close and go out only with masks and gloves. Daily briefings, news bulletins—we all start to listen. They force it in our heads through constant repetition: stay home, save lives, protect the NHS, stay focused and calm, and don't digress. Supermarket queues have never seemed so long. Two meters apart, for miles they go on. Keep your distance. Stay back. Don't get too near. Social distancing when shopping. Is that now something to fear? Zoom calls with loved ones and quizzes galore. Fakeaways, baking, and picnics on the floor. Boris is in hospital with COVID-19. Prince Charles even has it. Let's just pray for the Queen. This seems like a nightmare. The Prime Minister can't die. Politics aside, he seems like a good guy. Week after week, on our doorsteps, clapping our hands. That doesn't seem enough. Let's use pots and pans. We gather together as if it were Christmas Day to sit down and listen to what the Queen has to say. She calmly speaks and addresses the nation. We must all pull together and just be patient. Although it's not the war and it isn't the same. She quotes Vera Lynn: "We will meet again." The weeks fly past in the blink of an eye, and thankfully the death toll comes down after being so high. It seems there might be some good news at last. Things are starting to open. Has the worst passed? But for now, I think we are in for a struggle on how we decide who we want in our bubble. COVID-19 is by no means gone, but we all need to live and try and move on. So for a while, it would seem that some things aren't allowed, like going to a rugby match or standing in a crowd. But whatever happens, there'll be memories aplenty, and we will never ever forget the year of 2020.